Okay, in under three minutes, we're going to remove this paint transfer. Um, I'm guessing somebody ran up against something, possibly somebody side sweeped something, but when your scratches are not um, deep, this is what's known as paint transfer. All of this is paint transfer. Now this here means that they've went all the way to the paint. We're not gonna be able to fix that, but we will remove all of this. Okay, what I'm gonna use today is, I'm gonna use some V32. It's gonna be your more um, extreme compound. So this is gonna have little granules in it. It's a really good product. Um, I'm not gonna use a machine today. I'm gonna use my hand because a lot of people say, well, I don't know how to use a buffer. So we're gonna do this old school way, some elbow grease. So I've got some product here on my rag. Um, when you're removing with your hand, you want quite a bit of product because you actually wanna keep lubrication in and between your rubbing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my thumbs because I want pressure. You're gonna see this start to remove real quick. So we're gonna apply it all over our area. We're just gonna put it on every area that we see paint transfer because that's what that is, paint transfer. Okay, now you're gonna save yourself some money. You don't have to follow the short screen. So I'm gonna push. Notice, I'm pushing, pushing. You see it? It's coming out, pushing. As I push, the more I push, I've got to put this elbow grease in it. It's coming out, it's coming out, see it? You don't need to use a buffer. Don't have to have a detailer or a body shop to do this. You can do this yourself right here, see that? Some more here. Now when it gets hard and it seems like you can't get the last of it off, just add some more of your product or some more of your V32. Okay, you can see already, there's all your paint, paint transfer here. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna do the very last side of it. What, what I choose to when I do when I do paint transfer, I use a more fluffy, um, so I, this is a terry cloth. I don't use the flat side. I use the more uh, fluffier side because to me, it works better, it's softer, and you don't wanna create any scratches in the midst of your rubbing. So we're gonna go one more time. And by this time, we're gonna be finished and I'm gonna move on with this vehicle. Okay, here we go. I'm just applying some real good pressure. Pressure. Now remember, the black, I can't get off. That black, yeah, that black is actually all the way to the paint. Some cars, when you hit the bottom, is white when they're metal. When you deal with plastic or these bumpers, they're gonna be black. So, notice it's coming off, coming off, coming off, coming off. And in a couple of seconds, we're gonna wipe this down and this bumper will look like new. Hit your corners, corners. Again, just my thumbs. No machines, no machines, no machines. And just take some old fashioned elbow grease. Now we're gonna flip it over because we're gonna wipe it off. And just like that, all your paint transfer is off. Now I'm gonna go back and get like, you know, your smaller, but I just wanted to show you basically that it could be removed, that you can get it out. Uh, so if you ever hit, say maybe something and it's not that bad and it's just a swipe. I also did one on the bumper. It was a yellow transfer. Grab you some good compound, some extreme compound. Get a good rag. I choose to use V32. There are other compounds, but compounds um, cheaper compounds when you use them they're very hard to get off and you will be forever so I found this one this is actually um, you can actually use this with a buffer so this is a buffing compound but I choose to use my own buffers God bless don't forget to hit like and subscribe